Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky and I'm looking at an application called Keysmith. You can go to keysmith.app and you can download it from here. And once you've got it on your system there, you can use up to five automations before it will ask you to pay for it. So you get a good chance to give it a good try out. Now, the next thing that you want to do once you've got it downloaded is go into some of the examples and see what you can do with it. Now, open apps, well, I mean, you can open apps by using um, Alfred or just going into the Finder or going... It's, it's easy to open apps, just one app by itself. You know, you don't need an app like this to open apps for you. But there are things that could make it a bit more interesting. You could open the app and then have something done within the application. So a bit more interesting would be this one I've got here, which is Enable Dark Mode. So if you go down to this one here where we've got uh, the Mac, uh, this one here, look, Enable Dark Mode. So you do Function D. This is the uh, shortcut which is, comes with it. If I click on this one here, open in Keysmith, it will download it and it will put it into this list on your left hand side of the automations that you have available. And what it does, it goes into the system preferences, into general, it clicks on dark and then it closes it. And then I've got another similar one which will do for light mode. So let's just show you how this one works. It's in light mode at the moment, so if I do function D, there we go, clicks on that and turns it all into dark mode and if I take it back again and it brings it back into light mode by doing function L. Now those I think are worth having because it saves a lot of time by you know not having to go through the system preferences, find the right place, click on these buttons, close it down when you're finished and all that sort of thing. That is kind of nice, that is really good. If there are a couple of applications that you always open at the same time to do some work on, like maybe Notion and Craft, I've got this one here where it uh, already says open Notion. Then in the active app, it does command space. Then it types in craft. It presses return. And then it does a moom command to put the windows into the correct places. So if I do this one here, for instance, I'm going to get this one to run now. I can do two command keys and three. So two command keys and three. Craft. It opens up Notion. It opens up craft. So there's the two things open for me, all ready to go. So another one I've got with Keysmith is to create a note with a date. Now this one's got a bit of Apple script in it, which is kind of nice as well. Uh, basically what you do is have it open notes, you press, it presses command N to start a new note. And then it runs the clipboard uh, thing to get a date string and puts it in text. And let's just show you how that works. So you could use this if you're making a journal, for instance. Let's do uh, option command and N. And there we go, it creates a new note and it started off with the date there. And obviously you could do this so that you could have other things put into there as well. So maybe you've got a you know, set sort of template, you can have it type in a certain amount of text underneath this one here. So maybe you want to have, uh, well, press two returns and then tell it to enter um, uh, attendees and then um, a semicolon or a colon. And then you could start typing in after that, so, you know, who's at the meeting or something like that. Let's uh, make a new one of these here. So let's make a new macro. Now, one way of doing this here would be to do a record. So let's do record. And the first thing you want to do is to open drafts. So let's go to uh, drafts on here. Drafts is already open. If it's not open, it will open. Then I want to do command zero. That gets rid of that. Command one, that gets rid of that. And then I want to do a uh, option, command and X. And that starts up drag and dictate, ready for me to start talking. And it also turns off the text expander thing. OK, so now I've got to stop recording. Now what we've got here is we've got open drafts. We've got this one here, which is uh, command zero, command one. Then we've got the uh, option command X, which is something I wanted there. We don't want these, so we can get rid of those. Let's just do uh, delete. And we don't want option nine either. We'll do a delete on that one there. So we've got three things there. Let's call it drafty. I'm going to set a hotkey for this. We're going to use uh, two commands and a two. So let's close down drafts. So I'm going to do two commands and a two. And it's ready to go. It's working just the way I wanted it to. Now that is some excellent automation that you can do with your Mac using Keysmith. So let's have a look at another one I've done here, which is uh, to encrypt text with paranoia text encryption. You should be using encryption for any messages that you send via email because email is not secure. 
have a look at the books that I've got on Amazon and on the Apple Bookstore to find out how to either give up on using email or how you can use encryption with email to make your data safe. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got this one called Encrypt Text with Paranoia Text Encryption. First thing to do is to open Drafts. It clicks at a point within Drafts. It doesn't matter where it clicks within the text area, as long as it clicks within the text area. Then it does a Command A for selecting everything, Command C to put it on a clipboard. And then we we'll go for a Command Space to open up Alfred. I type in Paranoia and that gives me the route to open up the Paranoia Text Encryption application. So I press Return and Paranoia Text Encryption will open up. I'll put in there a wait three seconds. I had to add that later because it needed a bit of time for Paranoia Text Encryption to open. After it's waited for that three seconds, it clicks into the area for unencrypted text. Then it pastes the text that we took out of drafts. Then it goes to the text field, which is for the password. And it types in the password that I want to put in here. I've just put in 5381 and uh, obviously, you know, 1234 or... You're usually going to use a good password, not something smart. <laughs> this is just for uh, purposes to show you that you can put stuff in there. It would be better if we had some way of asking for input from uh, Keysmith so we could choose a password as we run this application and put whatever we wanted at the time, but we can't do that. We have to sort of put the password in here and uh, let it run. some point in time, maybe they'll give us variables and we'll be able to do that anyway. So it puts in the uh, password twice and then it clicks on the button and tells us what type of encryption we want. Um, it encrypts it. Then what it does, it clicks in the encrypted text area. It does a command A to select all, command C to copy it all. Then it goes back into drafts and clicks on a space within the text area. Then it does a command A, which selects everything in case it's not selected already. It pastes what's in the clipboard over the top of what's there already. And then to finish it off, it goes back into Paranoia Text Encryption and clicks on Close. It gets rid of it so that next time we want to do it, it'll come back up there and it'll work properly as it should. If you don't close the application, what happens is that the password stays in the password area and then next time you run it, it tries to put the password in extra on top so you end up with a password that doesn't work and it uh, stops the macro. So you will need to finish this macro in this one here by uh, closing the application. And then I run an Apple script just for a bit of um, je ne sais quoi, uh, where it says it's encrypted. So that's all that needs to be happening there. So what we'll do, we'll just see this in action now. So let's get uh, Safari out of the way and we'll go into this one here. Let's just put a bit of text in there. So this is the text that I'm going to encrypt. So let's run the Keysmith macro. We do two commands and F1. It opens up Paranoid Text Encryption, puts in the password. It already put the text in there that's going to be decrypted, takes the encrypted text, put it back in. It's encrypted. And he puts it back into the application. So that's encrypted. Lovely. And all you need to do now is to create another macro which does the same but decrypts the text and that's quite easy to do as well so but for the moment we've got some text encrypted and we can go back into paranoia text encryption put this into the encrypted text area and decrypt it by putting the correct password in there okay so this is Dave Allen we're having a quick look at what you can do with this application I think it's a brilliant application well worth getting try it out with the five free macros that you can run with it um, without having to pay anything and I think, as you can see with my version of it here, I've paid for it and I've got more uh, macros in there because I really like automation and getting things done and making things happen nice, quick and easy and having the computer doing the work for me. So this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.